Good. Good morning, students. My test. So, so clear. Please raise your hand. Is it too too early uh, today? Or have you wake up yet? Only 34. Uh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, thanks for joining the class. Okay, so enjoying your breakfast. All right, so we start the class lah, huh? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so in our previous lessons, so we have a little bit more on the applications of the diffractions, total internal diffractions of light. Okay. So especially for the this uh, optical fibers. Okay, it, optical fiber actually is a uh, very fine glass. Okay, so it is not the hollow hollow tube. All right, it's not the hollow tube. Uh. So inside is that is a uh, core. Okay, the core actually is a uh, is a glass, and then the we, then they have an outer layer is a crayling layer. So this is a two layer glasses lah. And uh, because it's uh, applied on the total internal diffractions concept, okay, or the phenomena, so it means that the inner core actually is the optically denser glass, okay, and then the crating itself is uh, optically less than glass, lah, okay. So that's why the N one it should be higher than N two, lah, if according to the light game that I show in the module, okay. So. Because of that, okay, the total internal deflections of code. So no matter how we bend the anchor of the this uh, optical fiber, so the light it will be entered from one end and then it will be came out from the, the other end. All right, so we don't need to worry about that. The bendings of anchor will blocking the light; they cannot pass through. All right, so that that's why okay, uh, it's very really important for the this uh, inventions of the this optical fiber. Okay, it's not only used in the telecommunications for the Wi-Fi signal, for the internet signal that transmitted with the light speed. Okay, compared to the last time, last time, last time our internet is uh, with the cable, okay, with the copper cable. So that's uh, due to the high resistance, so the speed is really limited and then the signal can be transmitted also really limited. Okay, so last time our speed of the internet is only about, this not the last time, it's about uh, 15 to I think at around 15 years ago, 15, 18 years ago. Okay, so the time internet only few kilobyte per second. So now there is already up to gigabyte per second. So even the uh, 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 the the 5G coming even higher. Okay, so now with the Unify, you can up to uh, how many megabyte okay, per second Mbps and also the uh, gigabyte per second also can have already okay so last time only few kilobytes per second so it means that if you want to view a photo now do the photo it will take few hours just only a photo right can you imagine that okay don't even say about ruling the video so last time we have no such thing that's uh, youtube okay even we got the internet email okay so everything is really limited so only that only around <coughs> Around uh, how how many years I graduated from university? Then only they started about the YouTube. Okay, so last time the email we don't such last time last time you know we don't have, even have a such thing the Google. Okay, everything is based on the Microsoft uh, Windows Explorer, Microsoft Explorer. Okay, so and uh, our email last time is very strong. Uh, supplier is uh, Yahoo or Hotmail. Okay, so if you see that uh anyone still using a uh, Yahoo Mail. Nowadays, it means that it's uh, really, uh, really seniors already. Lah. So usually they will be the edge at least 40 and above. Okay. So, uh, okay, but uh, mostly it's already changed. Lah. Okay. So that is the use of the optical fiber okay, in the telecommunication so that we can, uh, can transmit the signal more and fast with the light speed. Okay. And uh, we also use in the uh, endoscope. Okay. So this one is the endoscope. So endoscope actually we use this for the surgery. 
Okay, so that uh, we can see what we can, we, we don't need to operate. So we just need to open the really small hole so that you can insert the, this uh, optical fiber and the camera into our body. You can see the conditions of the organs and so on. Okay, then after that, we can do the operations without, uh, uh, we, we can do the, uh, the surgery without operations. Lah. So we can, the end of the endoscope, we also can put a small scissor and the laser, laser line so that you can do the operations lah. okay so you can recover very really fast i think the textbook also given the semi uh the, the same information okay so this one all you must read and to know lah. okay so this one so optical fibers okay and then the k eyes okay the k eyes diffractor on the roots okay so that when the the the, the front car coming the the headlamp of the car so the headlights of the car entering the this uh the cat eyes diffractor so it will be very soft there's an inside inside got the grass prism small grass prism so it will deflect the light okay and then uh it will so that it will show the 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 signals or the or the light diffractions here to see that the conditions of the root line so where is the shoulder of the root so that it will not bending out of the uh the main root okay so the safety features uh, okay and uh there are some now now that they installed in cooler the solar pader so that the inside here it will be rotating okay? it will be rotating so i think that's uh i see the the root around the hutamana johobaru okay so the one the root next to the ssi one so the one that they install okay with the rotations diffracted inside so that the light is not permanent lighting so the light actually is a blinking so it will give more extensions uh, okay most extensions so that you will be alert about the the sign on the root line itself okay so i think that's all so now we look at the 6.3 lenses okay so to study about these lenses, first one, <coughs> our focus is on the ray light game. First focus is on the ray light game. So you must learn how to draw to form the image. Okay. Second is a study about the characteristic, characteristic of the image form. Okay. Please remember, huh? it's talking about the image. Huh? We can't do anything change on the object itself. So they got no such thing that characteristic of the object okay so please don't comment object magnified okay object becomes smaller no uh, what you comment is the image if you want to comment object yes can uh, right if you have the uh, the special tools like the bolo from the Loraemon. Uh. Loraemon have a one special tools that the uh, magnifying toss light so the toss light can magnify the object as diminish the object if you have the tools, then you can comment about the objects. Huh? If not, with the lens only, we learn here what we comment is a characteristic of image. So please remember that, huh? Okay. So the last time, uh, okay, uh, when the first two three years I come convince, okay, when every time give the uh, questions, uh, many of them are comment about the uh, objects. Okay. So uh, this year much better, lah. Okay, so hopefully that uh, the current form for next year, when I give you a question, don't want to give me the object become bigger or smaller. Okay, especially for those and uh, join the class this morning. Okay, and then the half of them, uh, the other half of them, I, I know, I know sure what, what happened to them better. Okay, so we have the two types of the lens here, okay, which is a convex lens and a concave lens. Okay, so both... Uh, the drawing I game a little bit different. Okay, so you have to learn how to draw. Okay, this is the main focus. And uh, I'm not going to ask you uh, to memorize this table. All right, there are many teachers outside, including the tuition center. Some the, the teachers we got no experience teaching, so they will tell the students to memorize this table. All right, how are you going to memorize it? You're wasting your time only okay so uh you just need to learn how to form the image which you learned about how to draw the red light game for the red light game itself 
you already can study the characteristic of the image okay so no need to memorize this table okay and before we start to learn how to form the image by the red light game there are the terms that you should understand okay the optical term used in our red light game especially okay so the textbook given here is so the optic center, optical center, principal axis, axis or lens, focus point, object distance, image distance, okay, focal length. So the explanation is already given. Even in the module, I also have uh, give you these tables, the terms, important terms, not, not the tables are uh, right here, important terms. This is, this one uh, is the way that I highlighted all the important terms that in the red light game. I, I I use use this for more than fifteen years already, lah. Okay, the last time the old version textbook doesn't have this table to highlight the, all the optical important terms. So now the this new textbook is already have, as I told you, lah. So I strongly I don't want to miss, mention anymore, lah. Okay, so you will see very similar, lah. But the problem is I already have used it fifteen more than fifteen years. Okay. So anyway, hopefully that uh, you are more uh, alert about this because this is one of the popular question asked in SPM, focal point. Okay, because uh, in learning about the uh, lenses, okay, very really important, uh, the most imp the amongst all the terms, right, the most important one is the focus point. Okay, so because without the focal point, you can't form the image. <laughs> okay, basically it's a focal point. Okay, focal point that we want to explain is a uh, uh, have a two different explanation depending on the you want to explain on the convex lens or concave lens. If a convex lens, convex lens is a converging lens. It will converge the light. Okay, it will concentrate the light. So this one in physics we call it converge the light. So it's the point that for all the light pass through the convex lens, it will converge to it. That is a point that we call it focal point. But that is a if that is a concave lens, so the point will be diverged from it. Diverge from it after that pass through the concave lens. Okay, so this is the one you have to know. Yes. On a. Okay, sorry, uh, because my wife also having a class. And uh, now, okay, so later on, if her voice disturbs you, uh, let me know. Uh, okay, because now he sit in the okay, uh, living hall. So is this the sound still okay? Uh? Okay, so uh, okay, look at here. So hold on. Uh. Yeah, usually for this drawing of the ray light game, it's better that we have the graph paper. Okay. So why we better have the graph paper? So that we no need to measure the length. Because graph paper, we can count the divisions from the division, the grid line. So it can easily for us to count the do the measurements. So we don't need to use a ruler. Okay. 
So, and uh, the most important to draw the this cadre again, the first one, we must have a principal axis. This principle is really important. You can say it's the most important, it's a principal axis. Okay, because everything will referring to this principal axis. So if you're referring to terms here, what's mean by the principal axis in the textbook? It's a straight line through the optical center of the lens. It's a center of curvature for the both okay, uh, surface of the lenses. Okay, so it means that it divides our lens into the half equally. Lah. Okay, so you'll pass through optical center. Okay, and uh, another one line that we need to have is... Uh, Land axis. So another one line that we need to have is a land axis. So this land axis is a land land uh, is is an axis that all the light ray have been uh, diffracted. Okay. So remember the the lens uh the concept of the ray light game here. Okay, because of the lens that we apply. Okay. On a, So, mm, okay. okay. So the cons the phenomena of the light for the these uh, formations of image by the lens actually is the uh, diffractions because the light entering the lens is an optically denser medium so it will diffract it towards normal okay so the phenomena involved here actually is a diffraction okay and uh, uh, the positions or the shape the size of the lens in our real light game, big, small, more curvature, less coverage, left the curvature is less or more, actually is not important because the image, oh, sorry, the the lens that we show, is just uh, showing the type of lens that we have, whether it's a convex lens or concave lens. So if you want to show it in the smaller size, okay. You want to show in the smaller size, okay, like this. You want to show in the smaller size, okay. You want to show it a bit fat, thicker lens, okay. Or you want to show very big, okay. It doesn't matter because every individual drawing is different, all right. So it's just a symbol to presenting in the right game as a convex lens, all right. So usually I don't really show, lah. okay. So because for me, the most important is the lens axis okay so the closing point here with the principal axis and the lens axis this is the one this point we call it optical center o optical center o right okay and uh, we have we have to fix a focus point okay so focus point usually in the this lens like game we will we will show the both sides so we will fix the distance away from optical center here. So this is one. Let's say here I, I draw four division. Four division as a focus point. So on the left here, also another four division as a focus point. Okay. And uh, okay. So the other four divisions, this one is considered as a position of the 2F. Lah. Position of 2F. So here, position of 2F. So portion of 2F that we show here, just want to know about our object distance. Okay, how to count object distance? Okay, so when the object is here, when this is your object, object distance is count from the position of the object until the lens axis. Until the lens axis, that is the object distance. So image distance, image distance, the image will be appear after the lens. So let's say the image appeal here or image uh, no, no, not like this, uh, sorry. Okay. 
So if the image appear here, let's say the image appear here, example, at the bottom here, this one, uh, then this distance and from the lens axis until the image position, that is the uh, image distance. Or the image is here, let's say image is here, then this distance is the image distance. So image, it can be appear on the left side or right side. Or the books, they will use the terms image forming same size as object. Same side as the object here, it means that it's a here. Same size as object. So it means it's on the left-hand side. Lah. So I, I, I know preferring mention left-hand or right-hand side because uh, in normal learning, we always show the objects on the left side. But in exam, right, it can be simply give you object on the right side and then ask you to form. It's just like usually you practice always walking forward. When suddenly ask you practice the worst way walking, then many students, many people will fall down. Just like exam also. In normal practice, you always draw right again, object on the left side, and then start from the left to form, complete the right game. And suddenly come the exam, ask you to reverse it, give you objects on the right side, and then many students don't know how to draw it. Or it gives object upside down. So it gives object like this. It gives object to, like this. And then form you the image. Uh, the uh, inside my bed. Okay, so the way how to study the characteristics of the image that you have to understand. Uh. So when it's the image forming, it's the same like this. This is object, this is your image. Then in the case like this, this image also consider is the upright because it's the same as your object. Then it says it's upright. Okay. So regarding the characteristics of the image, we have the three uh we have the three part, okay, or the three characteristics have to comment. Okay, the first one, first one we have to comment the image, okay, is uh, virtual or real. This is the first one. Second, okay, second is about the size. Third, is upright or inverted? Upright or inverted. Okay, so size means that it can be big, same, or small. Okay. So regarding the these three uh Okay, of the image here. There's one you can memorize. If you wanna, you can memorize, which is this one. Remember, virtual, always upright. Virtual, always upright. Real, always inverted. This is padding. This is a padding. Virtual always pay with upright. Real always pay with inverted. So before we, we continue about the uh, real right game, you have to understand first. I have to let you understand first what's been by the virtual image, what's been by the real image. Okay. So many students, they are confusing about virtual image or real image. Okay. So look at here. As I told you, this is about the diffractions of light. So let's see first for this one. Huh? Okay, so this is our lens. This is a lens. So this is a lens. Okay, so when the light from the object entering the lens, after that it will converge to the focus point. Okay. Another one is from the object, it will go through the optic center and it will go straight. Okay. 
So lens, the light enter the lens, it will be bending because it will deflect. After that, it will come up, pass through the lens. So means if we if we put our let's say if if I have a screen here, if I have a screen here, let's say this is my screen. So it means that the light will be hit on the screen. This is what we call the light will be projector hit on the screen. Then my image, image will be forming on the screen here. This is the image will be formed. So this image, we call it real image. This image is called real image because it's the image forming by light hit on the screen, the image projector on the screen. So we call it real. But the image is forming by the virtual light, which is there is not the light hit on the screen. Just because of the uh, virtual is forming the virtual light is concentrate and forming the image, then the image we call it virtual image. It's the image that we cannot let it project on the screen, but it may still appear there. It just appear in the virtual space. Also, virtual just just appear in the in the in the in the kind of space. You see the image appear there. But when you put something at the position of the image that you see, you cannot let the image project on the screen. So it's just like the image appear inside the mirror. When you stay in front of the mirror, right, the image appear is not on the mirror surface. Image appear is inside the mirror. But as we know, mirror is just a plate of glass. But why inside the mirror they have a space that you see? It deflects the objects. So the image that appear inside is not because of that screen. We have a screen inside and then the light is entering into the mirror. No. The light is not entering into the mirror. This is a mirror. So the light hit on the mirror and then will deflect. This is based on the diffraction, first phenomena. But the image appeal is inside, inside the Im inside the mirror. Okay. So the image appeal is inside the mirror. So this one in this case we call this is a virtual. Okay, after the mirror. But for the lens, after the lens, it's a real because the light penetrates through the lens. And then no matter where we put the screen here or screen behind here, there will be the light hit on the screen and forming the image. This is what we call this is a real image. But is the image appear, appear before the lens. Let's say the image appear here. This image, this one we call it virtual. This one we call it virtual image because it's forming by the it's forming by the virtual light. Just because the light will be penetrated through the lens. All right? So later on we will see how the image is formed. Okay. So once the image form we know it's a real or virtual, then automatically it will pairing with upright or inverted. So it's the real show will be inverted. It's a virtual must be upright. Okay, so this is what we're going to learn after this. Lah. Okay, to differentiate between the virtual and real. So hopefully you can understand, can differentiate what's mean by the real image, what mean by the virtual image. But anyway, later with the red again, you also can see clearly. Lah. Okay. So F here to F. Okay, let's say this is our lens. Okay, so now we see formations of the image. Okay, so first one, let's say I have the object is here. Let's say this is my object. So the first line that we can, we must draw, Always remember, no matter where is your object, 
the first one you must remember from the tip of the object here go straight to the optic center and go straight line this is the first line this is the first line okay so remember this first line is from the object here okay let it go through the optic center and pass through it so this is the first line first line okay second line parallel with the principal axis from the tip of the object parallel with the principal axis parallel with principal axis and then after that until the until the uh, lens axis and after that it will converge to the focal point and go straight converge to the focal point and go straight this is your second line Okay, this is the second line. Here is your second line. Parallel with the principal axis and converge to the focal point. So why is converge to the focus point after the lens, not the focus point before the lens? Okay, this one because it parallel to the lens first and then we look at the disc curvature. We look at this curvature. Our focus, <coughs> our focus is on the disc curvature. So it go through and hit the disc curvature. So and the disc curvature, then we will be bent, bent to a focus point. Okay, why is after we follow this curvature when we form the circle, the F that we focus will be inside the circle. So that's why we follow this F after. If there's a concave lens, let's say this is a concave lens. So our objects here. When you go through the parallel with the principal axis, enter the lens. The curvature is here. This is a curvature. So it will referring to the F inside the circle. So it will be before the lens. So then the light, how the light will be diverged. The light will leverage from the this focal point, then leverage in this way. So this is what we call the light is leverage. So the light parallel with the principal axis after enter the lens, it will leverage. Leverage from the focal point. So these are two different between the concave and the convex lens, the F that we are referring. Okay. So we have the three line to form the image. But in the exam, you just need to draw any two. So because any two, it can form the image already. So now from the right game sound, you see the image is formed already. So where's the image? Image is here. The intersection point here, this is the formations of the image. So in this case, we already can study the characteristic of the image. As you can see, this is the uh, light. If you put a screen here, if you put a screen here, so the image will be forming here on the screen. So this one is the real image because the light it passed through, penetrate through the lens. So the image is formed there. So this is a real image. Real must be inverted. Inverted means upside down. Uh, okay. So compared to object, object is standing upright, but the image formed upside down. So that's why we call this one is a uh, inverted. Inverted means must be a real, real inverted. Real inverted. And then the size. The original height of the object I have here, the height here is a three units, but this one is one, no, 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 even two, it's one point something. So obviously, this is a diminished smaller size, diminish. Okay, so the image form here is a diminished. So all the three characteristics of the image we know already, which is a real, first one, second, inverted, third this the size is diminished okay so what case is it this is a case for the object distance this is a case for object distance more than 2f okay more than 2f 
and then the image form here is between the image distance form image sim image distance symbol we use v yeah image distance symbol we use v so it's formed between f and 2f so image position we also know okay so all this actually if you're referring to a textbook be given here so for the object okay so it's a cast two here this one object more than 2f or the distance more than 2f so the image distance between f and 2f so it's a real inverted diminish okay so another one line that you want to draw to see that where is the third line if you want to draw a can so but this third line will be special the way we draw is a uh, inverted reverse compared to a second line second line we parallel after that we go to f and then third line we go to f first before the lens so since that we go to f before the lens then we're referring to the f before the lens so it means that it's here this one oh, yeah. oh, no. so we're referring to the f before the lens okay so okay we draw this line go to f first and then until you hit the uh, yeah it stick to the, to the grid line before so cannot then i have to draw manually so it must go through the f first imagine there's a straight line uh -huh. just imagine this is a straight line okay so is there any others cannot okay and then after that image is a straight line and then go through it already so that it will be maybe i oh no i see if i remove the grid line first then only i draw okay so from here go to the f and hit the land exit okay can. okay and after that only it will be parallel with the principal axis only after that it will parallel with the principal axis from the this land axis parallel with the lens axis so it will be meet together right it will meet together so then it will after this okay so this is a third line so it will still form hit on the same point so we are not encouraged you must draw all the three lines to form the image okay because we want to draw all the three lines that uh that have the same in uh intersection point only single intersection point your drawing must be very uh, perfect once the slightly anchor not the same you can't make the tree line hit on the single point then what happens is it will make the tree line forming what forming a small triangle right when the angle slightly different right so and then anyway there is no extra marks because the mass is given maximum is a three three marks ex, uh, maximum for the forming the image in the red eye game how where to get the three marks so the mark one is a red one mark one any one line that you draw is a mark one and then the second line you draw either number two and number three okay so and then the third mask given is uh, showing the image the marks that's all they got no any extra marks okay all right so this is how we form the image okay so when they use a graph paper it will easily to uh, to know about the characteristic of the image so that's why in the module i give you the grid line as well so hopefully that you can try to form okay and then later on you can check answer with the 
textbook this table lah all is already have okay if i refer you the textbook here you see huh okay so like the just now this one if i draw another line here from here go to the f straight line use a ruler and then after that pedaler you will form the image at the same point here lah. okay and like this one the second i came here if i draw another one go to the optic center here pass straight line it will meet here lah. so if you if you if the textbook is, is your own one so you can add the use a pencil add another line lah. okay to let you to let yourself see always have the one two three line okay like this one so same go to the f first then after that parallel right parallel with principal assist okay only one i want to highlight is the cast here when the object equal to f when the object equal to f uh, textbook give you this okay but actually when you draw the right game you will get two parallel ray when the two parallel ray means that you the image is only formed at infinity you cannot let the two parallel ray meet when the two right ray cannot meet means there's no image form but in this case this parallel ray we don't say image not forming we only say image from infinity because these two parallel array by at least in our drawing we can't show it they will meet but somehow they may believe they will meet at infinity then the image will be formed okay we cannot say not going to form that's why we only can comment image from infinity but when the image form infinity how are you going to tell people the image form must be virtual upright magnified because no one's know only the god will know so regarding this issue virtual upright magnified image courtesy of image actually it only happens to the malaysia reference book or malaysia textbook if you're referring to the old syllabus textbook in the old syllabus textbook it's not mentioned it's not mentioned about characteristic of the image form when the object located at the focus point only the this new textbook is mentioned last time in all syllabus textbook is no mention only the reference book mentioned i always tell our students Okay, only the Malaysia reference book got show. Image and infinity have the characteristics virtual upright magnified. And then I, I I invite, I invite, I encourage the students write in the letter, go and ask the author, ask the publisher, how are you going to prove it to me? The characteristic for the image from infinity is a virtual upright magnified. If they can prove it to you, then it's good. I said, if they cannot prove it to you, means the agents are start. You should write the letter to sue them. Just like now, this textbook. I asked, I asked the head of the writer for this textbook, Mr. Chia. I asked him, how are you going to convince and prove it? The KTC is a virtual upright magnified. And then he invited me to go to his house. Because uh, actually he stayed in JB. So I went to his house okay, and then have a discussion with him regarding this issue. Okay. Finally, he agreed with me. You know what happens? In the reference book that he is one of the writer, I show you. Uh, in this textbook right in this textbook spotlight okay by the pen asia 
So, Chia Song Shui is a this textbook author. It written here. You see, he is the one to uh write. Also, one of the writer for the this reference book. Okay, and in this textbook, I uh, I cannot rotate it. Okay. So you see this case. This is inside the this reference book. It's only comment image at infinity, and then characteristic image at infinity. He made the correction in his left uh, reference book. But the first versions, this is the second version sorry reference book because first version they only published for the uh, only of form four. Okay, first version in the in the form four only is also included the characteristic of the image upright virtual modified. But the second version completed with the form five syllabus, which is a thicker one, is already made a correction. It removed the characteristic of the image. Right? So he promised me that in the second version of the textbook, they will make corrections, but we don't know yet. Lah. But at least I can see that he made the correction on the reference book already. Okay. So because in this case, we cannot prove. We don't even can say it's a virtual or it's a real. You see, uh, if you really compare for the objects, if you really want to compare, uh, for the object before, before the focus point, when the object stands before the focus point, the object more than F, either it's, a, either it's between F and 2F or equal to 2F or more than 2F, as long as object more than F here, or are real. Or it's a real image. Okay, for the object located after the F, for the object located after the F, it will be virtual. So it means that before the F, object located before the focal point is a real image. Located after the focal point is a real virtual image. Then when the object located at F, how are you going to comment it's virtual, not the real? If you say it's a real, then how are you going to comment it's not the virtual? It's just like the, the question I'm asking you. More than zero is positive value. Less than zero is negative value. Then can you tell me zero is positive or negative? Anyone can tell me zero is positive or negative? More than zero is positive, right? Less than zero is negative value. So zero is what? Zero positive or negative? Can someone tell me? Or you can on the mic? How is it? What is your message told you for the zero? You learned about the positive negative value in form one mathematics, right? So zero is what? So neither positive or no negative. Then there is what? It's just a zero. Ah, so it's just a zero. No comment. Right? It's a neutral number, right? It's just like happened here. When object located before the F, more than F, is a real. After the F, is virtual. When, ob when object located in F, the image is what? Image, we don't know. We just only say image from infinity. You cannot comment it's a virtual or you cannot comment it's a real. It's just like happened on the zero. You cannot say the zero is negative or positive because zero is a neutral. All right? So it's a similar thing happens here. Okay? So that's why I say that this one is wrong. Okay? So it really happens, which is our panel that really brightly follow the textbook design the question asking about the characteristics of the image form when the object located at focal point ah uh, i have no comment for that uh. then you have to follow whatever status in the textbook law. hopefully they're not going to ask lah. okay so but with the nowadays standard and quality uh i couldn't i can't guarantee you lah. because nowadays 
the panel, it seemed like they just only, most of the time, they barely follow the books they defer without deferring to the many other books. Even if they're deferring to many other books, they're also deferring to the local reference book. They are not deferring to the uh, some uh, university level reference books from the overseas or some links uh, uh, university. Okay. So I don't know why. Lah. So they are not deferring to the real source. Okay. So hopefully they're not going to ask. Lah. If they ask, then you have to follow this. Lah. You have no choice. Okay. But so far in the past years, SPN, they never asked before. Lah. Okay. Just so remember, it's only can comment image form and infinity. Okay. So, and then please, after this, take your time, go and complete all the red light game in the module. So for the red light game, study the characteristic of the image. Uh, okay. I've forgotten to in delete, delete the image. Ah, yeah. All the image given already. Okay. So by right, I should delete all this. I should delete all this image. I've forgotten to delete. Okay. Oh, it's already show you the image all here. Okay. So uh, then you refer to it to complete the right game. Lah. So after they study the image, comparing to the object size, then you will know whether the object is the same size, magnify or diminish. Lah. Okay. So this is the way how we draw. Okay, for the convex lens. Okay, and then as I told you just now, all the real image actually are inverted. All the virtual images are upright. Okay, so this this one I told you so already. Okay. So only for the concave lens, when you draw the concave lens, you have to be uh, slightly know, uh, know the difference. Okay, as I told you just now, for the concave lens, our F, when you parallel to the principal axis, after that, it will be diverge. Diverge from what? Diverge from the point F. So it will be drawn like this. So because the light somehow is still penetrate through the lens, but the image form is here, so it's based on the virtual, virtual light ray. So that's why the image form is a virtual. No matter you have a far object or close object, we will notice that characteristic of the image form always the same which is uh, what we virtual upright and diminish okay all the image will form before the lens that's why all these images are the virtual image okay so image always upright diminish and virtual okay now i'm going to discuss with the equation for the thin lenses which is this is a lens equations one over f equal to one over u plus one over v so if we referring to a textbook Okay, so it's only in the textbook, it's only discussed about the linear magnifications. So this one later I'll talk about the linear magnifications. So when you go to the next one, thin lens formula, the lens equation, as it will be given, one uh, F equal to 1 over U plus 1 over V. F is a focus length. U is the object distance. V is the image distance. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you one shortcut to knowing about characteristic of the image, either concave or either convex lens without drawing the red eye game. You can use it to label confirm your characteristic of the image. Okay, when you have not sure about your drawing. Okay. Or in the paper one, without the drawing, you still can answer. You still can answer characteristic of the image. Okay. Without the drawing. By the calculations only you're able to know. So how are we going to apply it? Okay, you can refer it to this table. To compare the characteristics of the image okay so i can use any one like games here so let's say example i using uh let's say example i using uh, this one uh. okay for the object more than 2f okay so how are we going to apply the calculation once uh, let me apply the uh, fundamental message first uh. Oh, 
Okay. So, based on this, how are we going to apply the calculation? Okay, the formula is 1 over F equal to 1 over U plus 1 over V. To apply this formula in calculations, okay, first thing you have to know. You have to know first for the convex lens. For the convex lens, F is positive. Please take notes. For the concave lens, F is negative. Okay. Oh, now I apply the message on the goal first. Okay. So, this is a lens. Remember, this is for the lens. Okay. Same formula. Same formula, we also can apply for the mirror. That one will be uh, in the curved mirror, concave mirror, and convex mirror. Same formula, we also can apply to know about the characteristic formed by the curved mirror. But when you apply for the mirror, we apply for the mirror. So F positive is referring to the concave mirror. And the F negative referring to the convex mirror okay so miss at the body lah. okay so for the mirror ones okay f is positive for concave but for the lens f positive for convex so it just need to remember once enough lah. so the, the other one will be inverted okay so just find the way you did you remember about the f positive or negative okay so the rest now we do the calculation so how do you do calculation for the u more than 2f? So you just simply put any f as your uh, focus line. So let's say I assuming my f is post, uh, is 10 centimeter for this one. Let's say this is a 10 centimeter. So it means that object distance, we just simply put any object distance more than 20 because more than 2f, right? So more than 20. So let's say I put 30 lah. So you can put 30. If you don't like the number 30, you can put the, any number as long as you're happy. All right. So maybe we can put 40. Lah. Okay, 40 centimeter. So let's say U is 40. Very far away from 2F. 40 centimeter. So now we do the calculation. So 1 over 10 will be equal to 1 over 40 plus 1 over V. So please tell me V equal to what? Okay, please do a calculation now. Tell me how much the V for the lens here. Okay, so please do some calculation. Tell me how much the V. Hi, anyone, please tell me how much will be. The faster you tell me, the faster we can end the class. Basically, we come to the ending parts already.
Forty over three. So, Amanda, can cannot cannot give answer forty over three there. Fraction is not the final answer for the for the calculations. Fraction cannot be the final answer. Right. So the answer will be thirteen point three three centimeter. So you will get the V thirteen point three three. So this is a simple calculation. So hopefully others have no issue, lah. Huh? Thirteen point three three centimeter. So now you see your V positive, right? Positive means this is the real. When positive real, real must pairing with inverted. Real always inverted. So from the final result, V positive, we already know the two characteristics of the image. Positive is the real, and the real must inverted. Okay, next one is about the size. Okay, our object distance is 40. Image distance is 13.33. So according to the linear magnifications, V over U. So it means it's a 13.33 over 40. So it's less than 1. When a magnification less than 1, means that image is diminished. Image will be diminished. Right? So if you want to know how much the image smaller, then you can make this magnification formula. Okay? Magnification formula as a V over U equal to the image height over the object height. As given the textbook. Yeah. This one. Image height over the object height. It's a linear magnification. At the same time, it should be equal to the V over U. It doesn't tell you here. Alright. So now finally we know all the characteristics of the image form. Okay. So before this, okay, we try another one for this one, for the this, the cast last one here. So for the object less than focus point. So just now we already try to fix this uh, image, uh, focus point, focus length, focus length as a 10 centimeter away from the lens. So 10 centimeter for the F. So now object distance, object distance U less than 10. So you can put any number. You want to put five, you want to put add up to you. Lah. So let's say, uh, so I, I want to put as a lucky seven uh, up to you. Lah. So if we reduce uh, seven a bit difficult, uh, a bit odd, odd number in, in calculation. So let's say I put five lah, easier, lah. five, as long as it's less than 10. So now I apply one over 10 equal to one over five plus one over B. So find me the B. Ah, that's all four instead of idea. So how about okay? I don't want to form five. Why 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 so many form five here? Okay. Uh, anyway lah. So how about the No Farisha, are you here? Can you please raise your hand? No, Farisha. Yes, thank you. Please give me your answer. For the this, what is your answer for the V? Come on. After I change atoms, I want the V. Yes. Shape. 
everything shall stand up. Okay, they are not saying that they are numbered. Still calculating. Uh. Are you calculating? So here must also find the number of okay, I use the same number of marks. Ah, Tai Sushen. Are you here? Raise your hand, please. Yes. Ah, what answer? Negative ten. Negative? Ten. Ten. Okay, thank you. So, okay, negative 10. All right, so in this case, we got answer negative 10 here. So negative in self, negative, right? So it will tell this is a virtue. Positive is a real, negative will be virtue. Virtue means it's upright. Virtue is upright. Okay, so regarding the size, Okay, so when comparing the signs, we don't look at the negatives. We only look at the 10 here. So when, when we look at the magnification formula, the size, we're using 10 over 5. 5 is our object distance. 10 is our image distance. Negative just only tell us it's a virtue of real. Okay, so but when comparing the signs, we are not considered positive or negative. So we just look at the value 10. Okay. So therefore, this is the 2. So it means that the magnification is more than 1. So it will be magnified. So the image will be virtual, upright, magnified. Okay, virtual, upright, magnified. So if uh, you want to uh, comparing the object high, image high, so you can use uh, this magnification. So it means that if you located half of the F here, if your object is two centimeter high, then image will be four centimeter because it will lower because magnification is two. All right. So means from calculation without drawing, we are able to know all the characteristics of the image. Okay, you can apply to the all the right game include the concave lens. You can apply so just only when you apply the concave lens, you have to remember F is negative. When you substitute, F must be negative value. So due to that, no matter what you count, always get the V is negative. So it will be image always will be virtual. And from the calculation, you will see that the image will be smaller than object. Okay. So regarding the magnifications, if you look at the like games here, magnification formula is not the formula appeal drop from the sky. Even the lens equation, so 1 over f equals 1 over u plus 1 over v, all this actually is a magnetic logical. Okay. But for the lens equation, I don't want to comment so much because the one explanation will be make you more confused. But for, for the linear magnification, it's simple. So I'll let you know how we apply this linear magnification. Actually, this linear magnification formula, image height over object height equal to the image distance over object distance here, actually based on the mathematic triangle relationship. Same gradients. Right? Same gradients. If you learn in maths, you learn about these triangles, right? They say this is A, B. And for the big triangle with the same gradients, you have the A, so what you learn is A over B is equal to the A over B, right? Because of the same gradients. Same also for in the red again, you see that relationship between image height and object height. So you have the triangles here. This triangle. Comparing to this triangle. Okay. So the triangle here all on the same gradients. So that's why you have the A, B, A, B, which is you have the object height, object distance, image height, image distance. So that's why the ratio is a set based on the, this triangle relationship in our drawing. Okay. And then regarding the virtue of real, positive or negative, actually is 
just like the axis here. So we have the principal axis, we have the lens axis. So here is a positive, this is a negative. That's why when the image from here is a positive V, image from here is a negative V. So negative V here, we have the virtual image. Here is a virtual. This is a real. Because the light have passed through, light have passed through the lens. So this is a real light. So we form the real image here. Okay. So once you understand all this concept, actually to study the lens, convex concave lens here is not that complicated. It's very really easy and simple. Lah. Okay. So I think that's all about the, these lenses. Okay. So even the 6.5, 6.4 here, the thin lens formula, I don't know why it's separated separated from the subtopics before that but i should put together okay and this is an equation uh this is a experiment experiment by changing the we changing the object distance and after that we adjusting the image distance then record so use a white screen here to get the sharp image form okay with sharp image form so the we will record so with the different object distance we will study the image distance after that we will use uh calculation one over u one over v so that we can plot the graph one over v against one over u the graph so one over v against one over u so the expecting graph will be directly proportional so when the gradients here we calculate for this graph the gradient is what when calculate the gradient will be the one over v over one over u so then the gradient presenting is what 1 over V over 1 over U. Okay. So when we do this, gradients, 1 over V divided 1 over U. It's same like the 1 over V multiply U over 1. So it means that it's a U per V. What you get? How you did that with the lens equations? Okay. So try to study this using the lens formula and the graph plot determine the focus length. How we how we delay this gradients of the graph? Oh, yeah, I draw again. So one over v again, one over u. Huh? Okay, so I erase this all this. So from the for, uh, from the experimental side, we will plot the graph. We will put the graph 1 over V against 1 over U. The graph will be the ID proportional. So the gradients of the graph is a 1 over V divided 1 over U. So comparing to the lens equation, 1 over F equal to 1 over U plus 1 over V. So how we delete these equations with the gradients of the graph? to find F. How? How is it? Anyone can answer me? How to delete, how to find the F with the graph? Is it directly proportional graph? If you follow the equation, is it directly proportional? We are in directly proportional. If I told you directly proportional without proof, and then do we believe it? 
So you see, uh, if you follow the lens equations here, try to delay with the graph 1 over V against 1 over U. So means that this is your Y axis, this is your X axis. So imagine that this is your Y, this is your X. So according to this, if we rearrange it into the equations, so it's a 1 over V equal to 1 over F plus, uh, no plus, minus 1 over U, right? Minus 1 over U. So it means that this is your, uh, I, write, I write here, so 1 over V equal to 1 over F minus 1 over U. So it means this is your Y, this is your X. Then the equation is still like what form? It's a C minus MX. So means according to this, our graph it should be negative, and then we have the intercept, negative gradients. So it means that according to this these equations, we will have one over v equal to negative one over u plus one over f. So it's a similar like this general equation which this is a y this is your mx this is your c so it means that you have the gradient is negative gradients here negative one so it means that you will have the this graph this intercept here is your one over f okay and the gradients it should be equal to negative one So our expecting means that let's say means that here and this okay must be equal length. Lah. So they can gradient negative one. Right? So this is our expecting result. This is our expecting result. Okay, so that we have the negative. 1 over u according to equations huh? right but anyway we have to stick to our uh, experiment result huh? okay so you can try to study and to know about the relationship here okay so hopefully by open school we have a chance to do this experiment huh? okay so this is a uh, once okay uh using the lens formula so actually the graph plot it will be the negative gradient graph which is a decreases linearly decreases linearly graph so the intercept of the graph is presenting the one over f so we can use the intercept of the graph to get the result okay so according to this experiment we're adjusting on the white screen here okay we will okay we will uh, move front and backward here so that what we are looking for we're looking for the sharp image form adjusting the position of the screen to get the sharp image form so we don't say the clear image form uh, because okay pdm the term that we describe here about the image form so we don't use the term clear image form on the screen because the clear image in our physics Image clear or not, it depends on the brightness, depending on the brightness. So we adjusting the white screen here. The brightness is not changing. All right? So we don't say that okay, clear image or not. We're only looking for the sharp image. So it means that we do if the image is look blur, that is not the correct position. You see, uh, Referring to red eye game here. So the sharp image forming here. The sharp image is forming here. So it means that if you put the screen here, if you put the screen here, so the light is not concentrate. Then the image you see is a blur image. Then you have to move backward the screen, then only you get the sharp image appear here. Because the light is already focused, concentrate at one point. So you are forming the sharp image. Okay, so to get the clearer image means that we have to increase the brightness. So always ask in the essay questions, 
how to get the clearer image we must use a big diameter of lens so we use a bigger diameter of lens bigger diameter means it's allowed more light enter the lens then the image form will be clearer because more light can enter the lens so increase the brightness then we get a clearer image all right so don't know why that this is the one always asked in the essay question spm okay so i think basically for this 6.3 and 6.4 we done already la. so uh okay so for the lens equation you see just now it mentioned about the positive negative for the f okay so it will be real image but it doesn't tell you the real must be the inverted virtual must be upright and then it also no comments about the size so hopefully that you learn from what we have discussed it's just only show the example here how we apply the formula to know about the characteristics of the image la. okay actually this one i already discussed with you la. okay so this is others calculation involved with the apply the formula yes. right so you can read through okay example two and number three so basically we have practiced the sound Okay, so quantity uh, practice also about the drawing, the right game, and then calculation. So all this you do first. Uh. So when open school, maybe I will have a time to discuss, go through all this quantity uh, practice. I think that's all for the, this morning. So optical instrument, I will discuss on the next lessons. Optical instrument, because there will be the uh, drawing that for the telescope, microscope. So I hope that you already learned how to form the image with the red eye game and then you continue practice on the these instruments. Okay, we have a two light game here. So how to draw this? Actually, you just, you just use a first lens, which is objective lens, to get your first image. Then the first image will become the first image will become the object for the second lens, which is eye space lens. All right? So it's trying to learn. How to draw if you cannot then just leave it first until the next class i will show you okay so this is the uh, instruments for the optical instruments and then after that it will be the come to the last part uh, of the chapter six which is a uh, uh, spherical mirror the curved mirror uh, so we have the concave mirror and convex mirror so the drawing basically similar to the lens just only the f and the optics we do have the office center here we, but we have the center of curvature so this one i will discuss later lah. so same also this table don't need to memorize you just need to learn how to draw the red eye again to form the image okay and then from it you can study the characteristics of the image or you can do the calculation as well how to apply the calculation i told you already just now when you apply for the mirror concave mirror is a positive f convex mirror is a negative f ah. if you remember that do not confuse with the lenses then it shouldn't have a problem so we still can do the calculation to know about the characteristics of the image so after that no more done already chapter six okay so we need another one lessons lah. so the another one lesson i think maybe will be next sunday or monday lah, before open school all right so hopefully that we can cover the uh, the basics content before open school all right so that's all for this morning thanks for joining the class if you have questions, you can ask. If not, then that's all. Okay, thank you.